Hello traders, welcome in our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the MSCI rebalancing. What does it do and how it will affect positively or negatively with the individual stocks. No? So if you haven't subscribed yet in our YouTube channel, please do me a favor, be part of the first 1,000 subscribers. And sa mga nakapag-subscribe na, Thank you so much for being part of this journey and our uh, stocks discussion always. no. And I hope I am uh, imparting invaluable lessons and mga timely updates on how you can invest and trade stocks effectively and efficiently. No? So, doon sa ano natin, uh, free uh, na one month daily uh, weekly stock updates no meron nag-request no si Mr. Ryan no uh, ang sabi niya sir paki-explain po sa YouTube sana uh, uh, maraming salamat yung MSEI rebalancing update no effective on May 29 no so yung addition dadagdag si Pure Gold tatanggalin si uh, Security Bank no or SECB then sa mga small cap naman dadagdag si All Home no H O M E Home uh, DMC and itong si SECB, no? And deletion, East-West, Macro-Asia, and Megawide, no? So, saan ba yan nakita, no? Sa COL, no? Kapag ka pumunta kayo dito, no? Uh, puntahan nyo lang, tapos sa bandang page, uh, pang ilan to? Page 3, no? So, ayan, as you can see, uh, pure gold SECB and will be added, no? And while SECB will be removed, no? So, the MSCI released the result of its May 2020 semi-annual index review for the MSCI equity indices. Uh, under the MSCI Global Standard Index, Pure Gold has a loan issue added to the index. Meanwhile, SECB was removed from the said index and subsequently added to MSCI Global Small Cap Index. Other changes in the MSCI Global Small Cap Index in ad include addition of home and DMC. Three issues, namely East West, Mac, tsaka itong si Mega Wide were removed from the MSCI Small Cap Index. These changes will take place on the close of May 29, 2020. No? Ano ba yung MSCI? No? So, punta tayo dito no? para you have uh, some sort of glimpse of idea of what is MSCI. So, MSCI basically means of Morgan Stanley Capital Investment. It is an investment research firm that provides stock indices, portfolio risk, and performance analytics and governance tools to institutional investors and hedge funds. MSCI is perhaps uh, best known for its benchmark indices, including the MSCI Emerging Market Index and the MSCI Frontier Market Index, which are managed by MSCI Bara. The company continues to launch new MSCI new indices each year. So basically, si MSCI, they, they try to rebalance twice per year, no? But yung pagre-review, no? Ginagawa yan quarterly, no? Kung may mga metrics yan, you know? So in layman's term, uh, isipin nyo, di ba yung index natin merong top 30 companies? In layman's term, isipin nyo parang sa isang classroom yan, sa isang klase, no? May mga set of criteria yan para matawag kang top 1 or valedictorian or salutatorian top 2 or top 3 no may mga ganun kung sa college kum la magna cum laude suma tsaka cum laude so may mga criteria yan no so may mga uh, stocks na magkakaroon ng overweighting no mommy explain ko yan meron ia underweight no so merong idadagdag merong itatanggal so may mga criteria si, si MSCI na sila lang yung nakakaalam no kung papaano magiging qualify yung isang stock para maging top 30 doon sa index natin, no? So kung pupunta kayo doon sa broker ninyo, no? Punta lang kayo dito sa may COA, click nyo itong PSEI, dito makikita nyo yung top 30, no, na mga indices. So this is the ano na, yung takes place na yung uh, pag overweight tsaka yung pag underweight, no? For example, etong si Ali merong total weight na 9.04, eto is 16.35 CSM. Uh, mer, ito 2% and etc. etc. na kapag inad mo yan lahat 100%. So for example, ikaw mag-open ka ng account sa isang mutual fund. Ang pinili mo is index fund, no? Kasi meron iba't ibang fund eh, may iba't ibang klase ng fund. 
hedge fund, uh, value asset funds, no? Na sila-sila yung nakakaalam nun, growth fund. Pero let, let's just talk about index fund. So, pagka may index fund ka, let's say, naglagay ka ng 100,000, no? Around 9,000, mapupunta kay Ali. Around uh, 16,000 something, mapupunta kay SM, Meralco, uh, URC, BDO, etc., etc. So, dyan madadiversify yung pera mo, no? Kapag ka naglagay ka ng 100,000, no? Sa isang index fund na mutual fund, no? Kaya nga, that's why, Pagdating sa index fund, medyo mas mura yung management fees nila compared dun sa mga growth fund o kaya mga tiyatawag nilang alpha funds. No? Mas mahal yun kasi that was uh, run or being run by and managed by professional fund managers no? na nagtitrade no? in and out. No? Although itong index fund is being managed din ng professional uh, fund managers pero more likely uh, mas konti na lang yung uh, nangyayaring transaction kasi they just follow the index fund at sabi ko nga sa inyo, twice per year lang ang stock rebalancing no? so, twice per year lang sila magli-liquidate no? so, what if, di ba, kunwari di ba, ang napag-usapan dito sa may uh, disclosure no? tatanggalin si SECB no? so, check mo kagad no? si SECB doon sa may COL nyo, no? so, ayan si SECB oh, uh, meron siyang 1.2% na component Check mo din sa uh, ano nyo, sa may uh, what you call this, sa charting uh, pro, uh, platform ninyo kung ano nangyari kay SECB. Ayan, no? Nag-gap uh, down, no? Ng negative 8%. Although it closed bullishly, pero of course, gap down. At meron pa silang ample time, no? Hindi naman yan lahat na isang bagsakan ibebenta. Eh. Pagka yung mga uh, mutual fund kasi o kaya yung mga ETF, no? Uh, minsan malalaki yung mga hawak nila niyan, paunti-unti nilang i-dispose yan. No? Paunti-unti until such time na kapag ka dumating na dito sa May 29, eh naayos na nila. No? Kung baga, of course, you already know na kapag ka nagli-liquidate, nagbebenta ng mga shares, babagsak ang price. No? Kasi they just follow what is the MSCI recommendation. No? So, yung partial, no? yung waiting, kasi hindi pa naman natin alam kung magkano yung weight ni Pure Gold eh no tsaka yung sa iba no kasi irerebalance yan eh no more likely baka yung iba makakatanggap ng underweight yung iba pwedeng overweight let's say halimbawa si Ali baka from 9.04% pwedeng gawing 8 or kaya pwedeng gawing 12 no yung mga tipong ganun kaya magkakaroon ng factors yan no so check nyo kagad si Ali kapag ka nakuha na natin yung pinaka total ng weighting check nyo kasi baka more likely gumalaw tong mga to so, si Pure Gold, diba, as you can see, 1.67 siya, no? But if you will try to look at Pure Gold, no? Uh, hindi niya na break out yung 50 pesos, no? Per share. So, if you are one of those uh, lucky students na inano natin, na discuss natin yung dito, diba, si Pure Gold. Ayan, no? Ayan. So, sabi ko nga, it might break 50 pesos but unable to hold the ground until the end of the day, no? Due to the magnet effect. So, May 11 ko pinos yan, na hit nga yung 50 or almost, pero bumagsak, di ba? Ayan, no? Bumagsak. Ito yun, dito pala, hindi pala siya bumagsak on the next day pala siya bumagsak, no? So, ganun nga yung nangyayari, no? So, if you will try to look with other stock, halimbawa, itong si East West, Mac, tsaka uh, Mega Wide, no? So, let's see East West, no? So, tingnan mo, di ba? Ito, East West is down like around 2%, no? So, more likely, baka hindi pa to yung full na pagbagsak, no? Hindi pa to ito yung full sell-off, no? So, let's see with MAC. So, si MAC naman, no? As you can see, holding the ground, no? Itong ground na ito sa around 4 pesos per share, no? Pero gap down din, kung makikita mo, ayan, no? Uh, Nag-gap down siya almost 5%, no? Negative 5%, tapos almost reaching the... 4 pesos per share. Tapos si M wide, if you will try to observe M wide, ayan no, pula din no, at around 6% no, gap down din, tapos uh, almost reaching the support no, yung ultimate support dito no, ayan no, makikita mo, ayan, kung palalakian natin ng ano, ayan, halos uh, humalik na siya sa support no. Tapos kung if you will try to observe yung mga idinagdag katulad ni Home, tsaka ni DMC no, of course, si Home kanina, napansin ko, tumaas to eh. No? This just due to this, uh, ano, eh, no, nag tumaas siya, it hit the MA50, no? In confluence na rin dito sa, sa halos dito sa may 
uh, lower resistive box no na plinano natin way back a uh, few weeks ago no na hit niya almost no pero nagretrace siya no binalikan no so syempre pakiramdaman pa yan eh no hindi naman yan mga mutual fund na isa isahan yung pagbili hindi nila bibili niya ng biglaan no so unti-unti yan kasi they, they have uh, so much money no so hindi pa naman natin alam kung ano yung mga weight no respectively and of course DMC they will try to look at DMC ganun din no nag-open siya ng gap up but eventually pinush back siya no so there might be uh, some sort of reason kung bakit niya ginawa yun bakit nangyari yun kung papansinin mo si DMC uh, home at the same time si Pure Gold nag gap up siya pero pinush back siya while uh, when we try to observe MAC SECB and East West de ba tsaka MY no talagang gap down siya no so it has an effect no kasi ang magiging kalaban mo diyan mga mutual fund tsaka mga ETF no kasi lalo na yung mga may mga taong nagii-invest through index fund no they will just follow what is the index fund no yung top 30 stocks doon sa index fund tapos relatively kung gaano kabigat yung weighting so kung babalikan natin ang pina may mabigat na weighting is SM no so 16% then sumunod si Ali no then sumunod eto mga maliliit na siguro BDO then next URC then then the rest is like uh, points ito ito SMPH malaki din 10% tapos AC 7% no? tapos yung iba mga 1% 2% then less than 1% so Malaking bagay kasi yan, no? yung mga tipong ganyan, kapag natanggal ka sa top 30. Kung baga sa, again, sa layman's term yan, sa classroom, no? dati kang nasa honor list, tapos natanggal ka, then what happened? No? Anong nangyari sa company mo? Tapos you are being beaten no? by some newbie or by some uh, small companies out there. No? Tapos nakapasa sila dun sa criteria ni MSCI. No? So, yun yung mga parang questionable na ano tapos titingnan mo kaagad no yung fundamentals if you are investor check mo kaagad yung fundamentals if fundamentals has changed more likely it will change no kapag ka medyo uh, natanggal ka so dapat uh, check mo kaagad no kung may nagbago ba dun sa fundamentals kung wala of course check mo din yung entry point mo mamaya kasi yung entry point mo di ba nag-gap down tapos more than 10% na eh cut loss ka na niyan kasi you cannot argue with ano eh yung technical analysis natin kasi yung pera mo nandiyan na talaga masusunog ka na kapag ka, uh, hindi ka nag-cut no pag more than 10% na no so that's it for now i hope na clarify ko yung mga questions no no and i hope you learned something in our video and this should helps you know for the incoming of MSCI rebalancing para at least hindi na kayo magugulat oh bakit ito si gap up bakit ito nag gap down no tapos bakit may mga ganitong nangyayari no so god bless us all and good night